definitely one of the oddest games that I've ever played uh, since I've been in the NHL. Tuesday night was 139 days in the making. NHL teams returning to the ice for their first exhibition game since rinks went dark due to the pandemic. And players had to wonder if uh, Rod Serling was lurking in the stands. It felt like the twilight zone there for a bit. I think everyone was kind of, you know, obviously skating around, feeling out the, the whole feel of how it was going to be like with no, no one in the arena. I, I think it was a different uh, experience, but the NHL did a really good job of uh, putting all the screens in for the, for the fan experience. But while these might be exhibition games, the rivalries on the ice have already got blood boiling. Just watching the game like Edmonton Calgary yesterday, it was, it was physical and really competitive. So I feel like it's going to be a good test for us. And Of course, the on-ice adjustment is just one factor. Players also transitioning to their new digs inside the bubbles, which could be up to a 10-week journey. Uh, it's definitely unique having a lot of different teams in the same hotel and, um, you know, having this, you know, sharing the same meal floor with them. But, uh, you know, a lot of guys Guys are, are friends with guys on their teams. Uh, their phones and Twitter and, uh, you know, Xbox and PlayStation 4, and uh, they enjoy that stuff. So it's uh, uh, so far our players uh, have been enjoying themselves. Teams also doing what they can to help players cope with the extended road trip away from families. Guys are thinking about their families and they miss them for sure. And it was, I got a good chuckle out of team, seeing my two kids sitting in the canoe in the yard too. So I do miss my family, I do miss my kids, obviously. Uh, uh, thank God for technology and FaceTime and being able to uh, uh, talk to them and, and, and see them also. But that time away is a sacrifice they're willing to make. Now, trying to chip away at the rust with just a couple of days to go before the quest for Lord Stanley's mug officially gets underway. There's still times where, you know, you're too far ahead or, or too far behind or, or maybe you miss a guy with a pass, but, um, you know, there's, there's, there's lots to work on still. In Edmonton, Courtney Terrio, City News.